going on everyone? Gilman with LiveVolthy back with our daily Apple update video where we take a look at what Apple stock has done over the course of today, what that means for the rest of the week, um, as well as any other events that could take place that could impact the stock price. So hope you guys enjoy. If you do, drop a like in the video, subscribe to our channel for daily Apple update videos, and comment down below what you think the future of Apple is, or if you want us to take a look at other stocks, and I'd love to do that for you. So wasting no time getting right into it, um, what we see when I click on the one day chart is Apple had a gr grid day overall, right? So um, the NASDAQ was up 1.88%, the Dow was up 520 points, 1.87%, S&P was up 1.74% and Apple was up 1.7. So in line with everything else, um, you know, Apple wasn't too high or too low, too um, a little bit lower than um, the other stocks or the other indexes, excuse me. Um, so yeah, good day, um, went up a little. So first things first, gapped up. We didn't really go down to fill a gap, um, which kind of concerns me. I'd like to see it do that. That way, you know, we fill the gap, um, but then bounce off and then continue upward. We didn't do that. Um, most of the day, we kind of flirted around the, v the VWAP. Um, you know, I like looking at that as one of my indicators for how strong the day for Apple was. Um, so taking a look at that, you know, we were above it, below it, above it again, right? Um, and then came below it and then for a lot of the rest of the day we were up with a little bit of chop try to come back to it um, bounced off and then we're making our way back to it but didn't quite get there so um, if we take a look at the one day chart right great strength looks great the one thing that I do want to show you guys is um, you know kind of yesterday's chart so I mean, we talked about this yesterday and it was at 116.02 before it fell, before we had the huge drop because Trump tweeted that stimulus talks were off. Now, if we were to look at today's chart, right, although it looks good, we still weren't able to make it back to yesterday's highs, um, which I was kind of, you know, surprised about. I thought, you know, with the, I thought that we would, um, you know, at least attempt that, maybe it would serve as resistance, um, but we would attempt that. So we didn't do it. Overall, not a bad day for Apple, right? But if we were to compare it with the five day, right? We didn't um, make this 116 high. And then when we gap down, remember that we didn't uh, go to fill the gap yesterday either. So those are two things sort of concerning me. Um, Yesterday we were, you know, as I mentioned, we were kind of making our way up towards it, but we couldn't quite do it. Um, fill the gap, and then today we also gapped up, but didn't fill the gap. But um, yeah, so th those are like the two things where we have this 116 that was, um, you know, yesterday's high point that could serve as a resistance, and then we've got the 116.67s that could serve as resistance, and then we've got the. 117s that could serve as resistance. I'm not talking about hard resistance points, right? I'm talking about highs from previous days that we haven't broken. So it could serve as um, somewhat of a resistance. Now, taking a look back at the, um, you know, the trend that we sort of had going, um, if we were to just extend this just a little bit, you know, we aren't quite done with the trend yet. It is starting to trade a little bit sideways for the past couple of days. Um, just could be potential consolidation as it tries to make up its mind on what it wants to do and a lot of that has been driven by kind of what the overall stock market wants to do um, with the whole thing with the stimulus not really happening um, and then you know the the uncertainty around coronavirus that has been there but as we kind of approach flu season right the um, double down of flu plus COVID can be um, can get pretty extreme which is what people are scared of now taking a look at the EMA so if you remember from yesterday's videos right um, we were we broke the 113 support that I had here, and I had mentioned to you guys that hey, you know, if we um, make a push towards the 113s, right, and then at this point with the EMAs were 113.55, which is the 55, or excuse me, the 34 EMA, and then the 8 and the 3rd 21 EMA and the 114s. If we were to get above the 113 support that we've talked about being great support for a while and we get the eight and the 21 EMAs, meaning we push towards it, that's great news for Apple. If we weren't able to recapture the 113s, that we could fall towards the 110, 109. Good news is, you know, right off the gate, we did get that. Um, today's EMAs were kind of similar, right? 114s, 114, um, and then 113.64. So, um, you know, if we take a look here, as soon as we opened, right, when we gapped up, 
we gapped up above the um, around the EMA. So 114 um, is kind of 114.40s is kind of where we opened. And if we take a look at the chart, right, what we see is you know the 114.29, 114.23 was the um, EMAs. So that was great news. Um, at that point, I was kind of you know thinking that you know Apple um, you know recaptured that, recaptured the EMAs, and it likely either goes sideways or a little bit up from there. Now, one thing that I do want to point out is there is a lot of resistance coming up, right? So there's the the yesterday's high, the day before is high, and then um, you know previously talked about um, 118s, 119 resistance point that we've sort of seen. Um, so that is definitely there. Um, and then we've got the 113 support. What the stock does right now is less, in, in my opinion, um, you know, less so on what Apple's doing and more so on, you know, stuff around the coronavirus and the stimulus. It took one tweet yesterday from Trump to make the Dow go 600 points and a huge drop in Apple, even though Apple announced their uh, iPhone event um, and we were kind of trending up finally, right? That's something I was waiting for. But with, excuse me, with one tweet, um, we went, you know, we wiped all that and then some. Um, so, you know, kind of points to watch out for is this point where we've gotten kind of rejected. Again, 119s, right? We got rejected there, there, there. Um, and then here we couldn't even, you know, push up enough to it. So we've got a lot of resistance coming up with, uh, you know, short term resistance in the highs of the previous days. And then, you know, kind of more real resistance with the 118s, 119s level. We've got good support in the 113s, um, which is good. We've talked about this multiple times. It sort of held up. Um, we did break through it a couple times, but we were quick to recapture it, um, which I think is great. So as long as we continue this trend channel and the stocks sort of trading sideways for a little bit, um, we do have Amazon's Prime Day next week and Apple's iPhone announcement next week, which are both events that people know about, right? So um, you can make the argument that it's already priced in, but I do think that assuming everything else, let me let me try to rephrase this. So assuming something like the stimulus doesn't come up and kind of screw things over, um, I think that this will be positive catalysts for both Amazon and Apple. I don't know if you guys follow Amazon as well, but for Amazon and Apple, um, and I think it could push it up just a little bit. Just be mindful though that, um, you know, 113s is kind of the support level that we're talking about, and then the the 118s is is the resistance that we're talking about. So for it to to break either of those, it does need some momentum. We almost broke through the 113. We did break through the 113 support yesterday, um, but that was more outside news. So to break the upper resistance, we will need some crazy momentum um, to kind of go and um, you know push up and potentially test some of these levels that we were at before in the month of August. So um, yeah, I think key, key things to watch out for uh, for tomorrow is hopefully it stays above the EMAs, right? It stays above those 114 levels um, that we've kind of discussed. Um, and if not, it finds support at 113. And if it's moving up, you know, some key levels to watch out for are the highs from the two days before. Um, since we weren't able to go back to those and then um, you know the, the upper level um, the upper like 118s um, so yeah as you can see we are right around um, the 50-day moving average at 115.06 we're currently at 115.08 um, and then we've got the 20 moving average at 112.73 that could provide further support um, if the 113 wasn't able to hold um, but yeah, that's all I had for you guys today. I'll make another one tomorrow on how it trades. Um, I think we're at, we could potentially be at an inflection point where the stock's kind of deciding what it wants to do. And when it decides what it wants to do, then the movement will follow. And I think going, um, you know, as the stimulus talks continue and as Apple heads into their iPhone event, we're likely to see that sometime soon. Um, but there is a lot of uncertainty. So again, I would caution you guys if you are taking positions to be mindful of that, to take profits when you can, um, and to try to trade green. So hope you guys, hope you guys are all having an amazing week so far. Um, that's all I had for you guys today. Please drop a like, comment down below if you're an Apple or if you want me to take a look at another stock and subscribe to the channel if you enjoy these. I try to do them every day. Um, yeah, that's all I had for you guys today. Um, let's remember to be a bit better every single day and until next time. Mm -hmm.